Learn how to easily install these pre-wired lights onto your layout in minutes. There are three popular traffic signal styles of the 1940s and 50s. Mast arm traffic lights are static signals that hang over part of the street. They are used at intersections on suburban or small town roads. Pedestal traffic lights are single-face static signals and ideal for busy downtown intersections. Suspended flashing traffic lights are perfect for rural areas where a yellow flashing signal cautions all traffic moving through a four-way intersection. Each style is available in N, H, O, and O scales. Now we're going to show you how to install the H, O scale mast arm traffic light. Each package comes with two red and two green static traffic signals, two linker plugs, and instructions. Place red and green traffic signals on street corners diagonally across from each other. For more details on placement, refer to the package instructions. Mark your preferred placement on your layout with a pencil. Drill holes in the marked spots on the layout. Run each green traffic light wire through the holes first. Glue each pole in place. Twist pre-stripped black wires from both green traffic lights together. Now twist pre-stripped gray wires. Press the button on the linker plug to connect the twisted black wires on the side where the black wire is attached. Now insert the twisted gray wires. Connect the linker plug to the Just Plug light hub and you're done. Follow these same connection steps for red traffic lights. Next, we are going to install the HO pedestal traffic light. Like the mast arm, pedestal comes with two red and two green signals, two linker plugs, and instructions. First, determine the placement of the traffic lights and mark the spot. Drill the holes, run the wires through the holes, glue in place. Twist like wires together for red and green traffic lights and then insert them into the linker plug. Just plug and you're done. Now for the suspended flashing traffic light. Here we'll show you how to install an HO signal. There are two suspended flashing traffic lights per package, two linker plugs, and instructions. Looking at one traffic light, you will see there is a pre-stripped wire to power the light. There is also a tension wire that is not pre-stripped and should not connect to the light hub. Let's test fit the traffic light poles for placement and make sure the signal hangs in the center of the intersection. Mark placement with a pencil. Drill holes in the marked spot on the layout. Run the wires through the holes. Glue each pole in place. Use the wires to adjust the width and how the light hangs over the intersection. Now glue each wire to the bottom of your layout to hold the placement of the light. Next, press the button on the linker plug to connect the black wire on the side where the black wire is attached. Now insert the red wire. Insert the plug into the Just Plug Light Hub port and connect to the power supply. If desired, color the wire with a black permanent marker. Now we're going to install an in-scale suspended flashing traffic light. First, position the hanging signal in the center of the intersection. Then adjust the pole with no power wire to the corner of the intersection by wrapping or unwrapping the signal wire. Mark this placement with a pencil. Drill a hole in the marked spot on the layout. Glue the pole in place and let dry. Adjust the pole with the pre-stripped wire to the corner diagonally opposite the other pole at the intersection by wrapping or unwrapping the signal wire. Mark this placement with a pencil. Drill a hole in the marked spot on the layout. Run the wire through the hole and glue the pole in place. Press the button on the linker plug to connect the black wire on the side where the black wire is attached. Now insert the red wire. Insert the plug into the Just Plug Light Hub port and connect to the power supply. Just plug and you're done.